In this video, we'll go over the process of laying out and installing your pergolas post bases. While the steps shown here are on a concrete patio, the process is much the same if you're using concrete piers. The first step is to decide which edge of the pergola you want as the control edge. If your pergola is going adjacent to your house, you'll probably want one of the edges of the pergola parallel to the house, so use this if that's the case. For this example, the front edge of the concrete patio is used as the control edge. Once you establish the location of the line, snap a chalk line to mark it in a more visible manner. Having someone hold the other end of the chalk line will make this easier. Note that this will be the outside edge of the post spaces, so bear the overhang of the pergola beams in mind when laying things out. With one edge established, the next step is to find the line perpendicular to this edge. The easiest way to do this is to create a 3-4-5 triangle. We know from trigonometry that a triangle with sides 3 and 4 long will have a diagonal of 5 between them. So, marking the corner of the post and another mark 3 feet away on the chalk line, use two tape measures to create this 3-4-5 triangle. Where the 4 foot and 5 foot marks intersect, make another mark. The line between this mark and the one in the corner is now perpendicular to the chalk line. Stretch the chalk line between these two marks and snap your perpendicular line. This process is repeated again on the other side of the pergola. After marking this line, measure from the two chalk line corners to mark the corners on the opposite side of the pergola. Next, take your post base and line it up at one corner of your chalk lines, marking at the center of the base. Using a hammer drill with a bit appropriately sized for your anchors, drill to the correct depth in the concrete. It's a good idea to blow out the hole to remove the concrete dust, which gives the anchor more bite in the hole. Next, fasten the base plate to the concrete with the concrete anchor. Here we're using an impact gun to make the job easier, but this can also be done with a ratchet or a wrench. If your anchor has a torque specification, you may want to use a calibrated torque wrench to ensure that the anchor is properly seated. These post bases come with a little seat for the bottom of the post, so be sure to add those. After that, it's just a matter of attaching the remaining post bases to the concrete. In the next video, we'll cover measuring for the posts and cutting them to length.